Now I'm going to demonstrate the Mercedes R40 calculator. So this is a quite uh, heavy machine with a very noisy motor. It has a very big input keyboard and output register. So we'll start by doing simple additions. This is the repetition register that I'm going to put with no repetition. So this is going to clear the keyboard after its operation. So I'm adding 113, the result over there, repetition of 1, and it's cleared. So I'm adding something else, 343, I get this result. So now I can subtract, say, 1 for 6. You can subtract with this key, and it clears again. So we have 300 over there. Uh, there's also keys that we can use to subtract uh, without clearing on this side or to add. So 3, 4, now it's repeating without clearing. So this one's never clear, this one's the clearing is controlled by the repeat, the repeat lever over here. So subtract, clear everything. Now I'm going to clear the repetition count, the output register, the keyboard is already cleared. On clearing we can also control it so that we only clear a part of the input keyboard. So with this lever in this position all the key, all these six keys to the right are not going to be clear, cleared when we do an operation. So there's going to be a division over here and these ones are preserved. So let's again clear everything and the registers. Now we're going to do first complex operation. We're going to do a multiplication. So this is the number that we're going to multiply by 45. So we need to put on the repeat and we are going to multiply this number by 5 by doing this 5 times. So this is a partial result. Now we want to multiply by 40. So to do that, we could keep pressing this thing 40 times, but this is not a good idea because we can shift. And now we only need to do it four times because we are now multiplying by 40. So we get, need to get a four over there. And this is the number multiplications with this, so it is 45. And this is the output, which is all at fives. Now we can move into the positions we want. We can now clear everything. And let's prepare for a division. So for the division, we have control over how many digits of precision we want. So let's start with four digits of precision and one specific way of inputting the, the number that we want to divide. So we'll first uh, input a number over here. So we have 3, 5, 5. And this is a marker or where we want to put the number we are going to divide to. So 1, 1, 3. And of division is electromechanical machines operates by subtracting this number from that one until we get an underflow. Then it backtracks, it counts how many subtractions were done shifts and then it continues the process in this case in order to output four digits or in the result that will be collected over there so let's see it working so we get three fourteen and one three digits now let's try to get more digits we can keep this setting over here we go over there Sometimes this gets stuck, so we cleared everything. Now I'm going to input, I could input by here and then add in, but since I already have the number here, I'll input again this way. So three, five, five. And now we are going to move this lever so that we get 10 digits of precision. So we are going to do the same operation, but now with more output over there.
and we get our final result, so 3, 14, 15, 9, 2, 9, 2. So this is a pi approximation. So with this we conclude the demonstration of the Mercedes uh, R40 machine. It also supports negative division, but I didn't figure out yet how it works. Okay, thank you.